And we're back to learning CSS. Let us talk about backgrounds. I'll add a simple H1 here. I've already shown you that you can use a background color. Another property for that is background minus color. And then for example, use a color name. Let's say light blue. But you've definitely seen websites that have used images as a background. Or we can, for example, use a simple JPEG here. I'll put it in my IMG folder. Position that we need is relative to our index side. So instead of using background minus color, we use background minus image and then URL, parenthesis, quotation marks, and then we use the IMG folder slash example. That was the name of the image. I believe it was a JPEG. Let me check again. Yes, it was. So we need example.jpg save and refresh and now this image is the background of our website relatively big image so we can't see it fully let me show you a smaller image i have it in this folder as well it's a simple santa icon a santa illustration and it's a png so i changed the url to img slash sensor dot png just to confirm you can see it png save and refresh and here's sensor now As you can see it's being repeated so by default this is what the browser does it takes the image and if it's too small for the browser window it simply repeats it in x and y axis well, we can change this default state easily by using yet more background properties. And we can set the value from the default, which is repeat, to no repeat. And to do that successfully, we need no minus repeat. And there you go. We only have this center image, this PNG. We can repeat it in the X axis. To do that, we need to write repeat minus X. And we can also repeat it only in the Y axis, which would be repeat minus Y. Let us set our example to no minus repeat for now. And now let's assume we have some text here. And when we make this paragraph a little bit longer, it's going to be over this image. And as the image doesn't provide that much contrast, it's going to get hard to read at some point. So you may want to adjust the position of your image. In this case, it would make sense to put the image to the top right, for example. And when we have a bigger browser window, you can then see that the text on the left image would be on the right. You can do that by using background minus position as a property. And then as I've said, you can use the positions right, left, bottom, top. In our case, right top should be a good position. Left would be the worst as it's directly on top of our text which starts at the top left. But if I make this right top and I resize this window, you can see this would be okay. I'm 
we've got one more property, which is the attachment. And the attachment allows it to adjust the behavior when the site is being scrolled. So let me add a couple of paragraphs so that we have a bigger text element here. Uh, maybe I add even more so that we can see something actually happening. Then I use background minus attachment as property and I set it to fixed. And now if I scroll, this position is fixed and the center scrolls with our mouse wheel. Sounds a little bit counterintuitive that fixed makes it scroll with it. But in relative terms, it is now a fixed position no matter where you scroll. So that's the way you could understand this word. The other one is scroll. So if we set the value to scroll, the center will not scroll with us. So it will be part of this position when you scroll. For explanation fixed makes it scroll with the side and scroll makes it fixed on the side. You could say, as I've said, it's a little bit counterintuitive. Good news is we don't have to write it all like this. We can use a shorthand way of writing. And to do that, we'll simply start with background as a property and don't add image. So minus image, minus color, something like this. We'll just add the values directly and the browser knows what is meant. So if we just add background and then light blue, we will already see the blue, the light blue background without actually having to add background minus color. Same goes for all of the other values. So if we add the URL after light blue in the same line for background, it's there. Now let us add no repeat right top and scroll. And you can see this now exactly the same result that we had before when, we've, when we had it written a little bit more detailed. And this would be usually the way to write it, as it is much quicker. So find yourself an image, try it out yourself. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.